and welcome back to American Au Pair Host Mom. I'm Lisa and today we're going to be talking about how to get through the holidays with your au pair, hopefully with an even stronger bond. So the reason why I started to talk about this today because I am at the beginning of crazy holiday celebration time. It's a super fun time of the year, but it can also be stressful. So yesterday was my daughter's seventh birthday and it was so great. And having the up hair in her home made it even better. So she has already been here a year. She's on her six month extension and she helped greatly prepare for this party. But it was fun for both of us and it was something she wanted to do. And it really has added to our joy. And I hope and I think it's added to hers too. So I wanted to share with you tips for best preparing for the holidays so that you both can enjoy it, get a better bond out of it, and hopefully at minimum, prepare for some of the more stressful things that occur during holidays. So some of the great tips that I and I've seen from others have done is to share your plan early with your au pair. Holidays are definitely a time to highlight cultural differences. Some of the holidays you celebrate, your au pair may or may not. Some they do, it may be very similar, but can also bring on homesickness. So you wanna think about how you can help decrease the shock of changes and to help decrease the homesickness. So just sharing a plan early. Uh, for instance, Americans work a lot. So the fact that you may be working uh, the week between Christmas and New Year's may be a culture shock, or maybe you're not. But either way, letting them know early their expectations for working during the holidays or not, and during times that may be close to the holidays. Letting them know what kind of travel plans you have or what kind of um, visitors you're gonna have. This can also be a point of contention or stress. Letting them know all who all these new people are, what some of the expectations that come with that. For instance, when grandparents visit for birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, other big family events, um, how do you share the children during this time? Are they working? Are they not? And if they're working, does their role change? Sharing all this information and giving them a heads up on some of the different things that may occur can help ease the time um, that they spend together and hopefully even create a better bond. Uh, actually for my daughter's birthday this weekend, my parents and my grandma were here. Uh, my up here has already spent many times with them so I didn't have to give her a lot of heads up on this. In fact, they've built a great bond and my mom has even picked up some of the great tips like this is a time that can really enforce adding them to family, making them feel like family. For instance, your au pair is not really a kid anymore, but some things are new, like Halloween for America is a really big deal and not so much in other places. My mom has realized this for my au pair, and she even included my au pair in giving her Halloween gifts that she gave to my kids, she also gave to her, which was just one more sweet thing that shows she's part of the family and we're enforcing uh, helping cultural exchange and helping her experience the joy of that. So including your au pair in any kind of small traditions or gifts, the you know, activities that you might do with your kids. Remember, not every au pair wants these things, but at least offering it to them and showing that you're thinking of them is always sweet. One of the things that we do, and I know other host families do, is including them on the cards and gifts that you give to others during the holidays, signing all of their names, including your au pair's name can really go a long way to show that they're part of the family, including them in the Christmas family card, Christmas family picture, uh, different events like that. So just helping them plan for that and being sure they're part of those traditions can help build bonds and cultural exchange. It's also a time, as I mentioned, that they might start to feel a little homesickness. Even though you're including them, this can definitely bring the memories of they're usually with their family. So asking them um, what they do and maybe having including that, you know, if there's a particular food that they make that usually don't, maybe ask them to help in make that and include that. This can maybe help a little bit with the homesickness or at least acknowledging it talking to them, letting them know that they probably miss their family right now and that you care. That can go a long way too. Um, 
And then again, holidays are just a great time to, to learn about each other. So reminiscing, sharing the things that you've done or that you remember in the past that are really great about Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, traditions. I know I've shared with my au pair what my mom did for my kids' birthdays and then kind of connect that to what I'm doing with my kids' birthdays, why we might like, make, like to bake together, which she helps and improves greatly, um, is all helpful and I think really helps build that bond um, some of the other things that we do when it comes to Christmas, for instance, including a uh, stocking over the fireplace for your au pair and putting gifts on it at Christmas, including them in all of these traditions really helps. Um, mentioned Halloween is kind of a big American thing. We really hype that up in my family. I was born on Halloween, so our family loves it. We decorate probably even more than most Americans do. So we prep our au pair for that, letting her know it's a big deal. Probably start talking about it in August. We go visiting um, different costume stores together, planning what our family is going to be, including our au pair, and uh, just introducing her to all that and sharing the excitement. She goes trick-or-treating with us. That's super fun. Um, and then at Thanksgiving, also another big American holiday prepping her for who's going to be at Thanksgiving, how people are going to interact, if there's going to be any shocking comments or anything like that, because family is definitely a time when things uh, happen, right? So just letting them know that. Um, but ultimately, it's a great time for bonding and sharing experiences with each other. So I think with enough heads up planning and sharing of expectations, it can be a really great time to really ensure that your au pair is part of the family. I hope some of these tips have, have helped. I'd love to hear how you include your au pair in your host family. And if you have enjoyed this video or others, I really hope that you are subscribing. So please press that button, press the bell so you won't miss any more information. You get your notifications and please like and comment so that other host families can see this through the YouTube algorithm and really help get this information out. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you soon.